Morning folks, it's another day at Sawyer's Maple Farm. I'm your host, Kurt Sawyer, and uh, let me show you what we're up to today. All right, we are filling the evaporator with water. Because as you can see, it's still, you know, it's got a whole bunch of dust from over the summer and whatnot. So that's almost up to where we want it, a little bit more. And that water coming from our house water system is 52 degrees, 52.2. Wow, it's actually warmer than I thought it would be um, since it's coming from a spring. And uh, we still got a few things we're doing. Still uh, redoing the our hose setup up here for the our hot water tank thing. We've got one hose hooked up. I'm just gonna hook up the second one. Gotta run to town and get a couple of clamps. Let's see what else we got going here. We got ROs running. Yep, RO is running. Or uh, we had some. Sap come in. So we're uh, running that through as a pre rinse to get all the preservatives and whatever out of the RO. And that's running right now. Leader Extreme RO, love this thing. This thing just purrs like a kitten. And then we are, let me climb up here. <sighs> Once the RO is clean and the evaporator is clean, we're going to process that. Sweeten the evaporator up. <sighs> Something we have never done on February 12th before. This is a new one for us. But it's a cool one. It's a bonus. After last year's bad season, we could use it. I think we got to go check uh, some sap tanks upstairs. Let's see what we got clean these are if we need to give them a pre-rinse or anything oh my this upstairs part of the sugar house ends up being a catch-all but at least they have some place to store this stuff let's see what we got going on oh, it doesn't look too bad it might need a rinsing Guess we'll do that after we get the evaporator going. Oh. Stay tuned, we got more to do. All right, we're back. It's day two. It is now February 13th and uh, finally got uh, sap boiling. Not a whole lot. It'll be just enough to sweeten the pans, but boy, isn't that a pretty sight. Watch that steam just come up off that stack. It smells good too. So we ended up having to uh, do so many things that we didn't get the RO started till two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it was about 1% sugar is what the sap hydrometer was telling me. Um, so by the time we got it processed, even with this big RO here, it was nine o'clock at night or something before I had it like ready to even boil. So we figured, you know what, let's just store it. We'll boil it in the morning. Um, and uh, when I said we were cleaning, we did do a thorough cleaning on this RO. We, uh, yeah, we used some of that sap to get the initial preservative or whatever out of it. But then we got water, uh, fresh water, put that in it, ran a soap wash, got water from our neighbor who was gracious enough to uh, send us some of his RO water because he had so much that he was just going to dump on the ground. So got that thoroughly rinsed and then we started processing sap and of course then we got single digit temperatures that were coming up so we had now we had water in our underground pipe we had sap in our underground pipe because we had two of them and so we want to get that cleaned out so we had to go suck back one of them push air through the other one uh, and so it was a while before we finally got ready thing, things ready around here yeah you because know, we were Quite surprised by this unexpected um, sap flow. So, hey, 
we get to process some syrup. So this is cool. So uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys come back.